At 126 pounds, Anthony Hernandez from Vacaville taking, taking on Nathan Cervantes from De La Salle. Coming in, Chris, Hernandez ranked just sixth, Cervantes ninth. It's really not the matchup we expected to see in this weight class, obviously. Well, they've, they've battled to get here, it's, uh, and they came from a long way out in order to accomplish this goal of getting to the finals of the, of the section now. But remember that Cervantes had to beat defending state champion Israel Saavedra in the quarterfinals to get here. He had pinned him, which is an amazing thing because you and I saw Saavedra last year wrestle fabulously, and we expected him to wrestle four, four times in the finals. Well, Modesto Saavedra was number two in the nation coming in, but, but I think that this matchup just goes to demonstrate the competitive balance here in California and that in a weight class it seemed like a certainty anything's possible. Well, Vacaville is another one of those teams that has a long tradition of wrestling. Hernandez is a very tough kid, but both of these guys had tough, close matches in the semifinals to get here. Cervantes is a three-time section champion has been to the state three times, has never placed before. They are being very cautious, and right at the edge of the mat, they're gonna be pushed out, they're coming back to the middle, so. Still scoreless, just 11 seconds remaining. We'll and see a lot of underclassmen tonight, both though 18 years of age, seniors. Well, one of the interesting things about what's going on here is that we're starting at 126 pounds tonight. They've, the CIF for the first time ever has broken up the order of the weights to the order show, in order to showcase the Valencias at the end. So we're starting at 126 pounds at 0, zero at the end of the first period. As a television commentator, I would think you enjoy it, but, but as a coach, how do you feel uh, about moving the order around? Does that you know mess with the way your wrestlers would prepare? Well, it goes against my logic, Danny, but <laughs> uh, we are in different roles tonight. I'm here with uh, Time Warner Cable to bring you the finals of the state championship. And again, we've talked about it earlier, this is the toughest high school state championship in the country. It started four weeks ago to qualify to get to this final. It is the largest state with the most wrestlers. It's an amazing thing. These two guys are gonna be very cautious, I think. Cervantes is a tough guy, Hernandez is a tough guy. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Got the escape, Cervantes has got the escape, and uh, we'll go from there. But snap down, back on their feet. Hand fighting, trying to get position. No one willing to take a gamble early on here, partially, I would think, because it is the opening bout of the evening here at 126 pounds. Well, I think they all get pretty conservative in the finals of the state, and that's, and that's what's happening here. They're being very cautious. Um, these guys are evenly matched, uh, you know, looking for an opening, moving, trying to get something established. Hernandez has a nice underhook with his head on the right side. He's battling, looking for a hip lock, hand, hand fighting, head control, head position, and here we are at the edge of the mat again. So when they start moving to the edge of the mat, you know that they're not really going to take any chances. 38 seconds remaining now in this second round. The De La Salle Spartan leading. How is the room at De La Salle? Mark Halverson has built a great program there. They actually had, in their league final, they had 12 guys in the finals and 12 champions. So wow, that's tough. an exceptional figure, isn't it? 12 yeah. out of the uh, 14. Yep, pretty amazing. So th they're the power in our section. They ran away with the North Coast section title this year um, and uh, had many, many wrestlers all through there. They qualified a number of kids, too. Many of our listeners and viewers here on Time Warner Cable Sports, of course, know you, the coach Chris Fetter, the head coach at Marin Catholic in the uh, North Coast section. So De La Salle is someone you know well. Know them very well. In fact, when I was at Terra Linda High School, Mark was just starting his program in 1988, and he's built it into a powerhouse. Talk about you know some of the leading coaches that we'll hear from throughout the night at the state wrestling championships. I know Halverson is obviously uh, one of the popular names. Well, let's talk about the Vacaville coach, Clint Birch. He's been very successful, has had a number of state champions and a power in the Sa Sac Joaquin section, so, which has great wrestling, 
the Sacramento schools wrestle really well. All the Valley schools wrestle well. This is a very comp competitive section, and they develop some great kids, and, and Coach Birch has done a great job there. These are the only two wrestlers from their respective schools in the finals tonight, and we are headed to the third and final period in this bout. one nothing, really not nothing doing, I should say, in the very opening quiet. two. Very uh, quiet. Again, Vacaville had a state champion last year, um, and they continue to bring guys into the finals. So does De La Salle, and you know, we, we give those programs credit. Again, Mark Alverson doing a great job at De La Salle. Clint Birch doing a great job at Vacaville. Um, but then, you know, we, we'll see the Terrapellis tonight. We'll see uh, John Azevedo tonight. We'll see uh, the Poway coaches. And then we're doing a little scramble. Hernandez is taking a chance, and he's got an escape. No, they did not lose control. Did not give him loss of control. Very nice scramble right there from both boys. 80 seconds left now in the final round. Well, Hernandez has got to build himself back up to his base. He's got to get going forward. Oh, they're calling warning, a stalling warning on Cervantes for parallel riding. And the crowd doesn't like it. It might have been a little early on that call. So, but they want these kids to wrestle and that's what the referee's job is. There's that roll again. There's that scramble. Up oh, and De La Salle. Cervantes rides really well. He's really tough on those hips. A lot of pressure on the back. A lot of hip pressure. He's driving forward. He's doing a very good job of riding Hernandez here. Hernandez has to get some room, clear his hips, and get out of there. That's what that roll is all about, is trying to get that, get that space so he can move out of it. But Cervantes is riding hard, and uh, Hernandez is up. Up, back down. Nice job but I'm afraid that uh, that early stall call will come back to haunt Cervantes. And now back to center with just 33 seconds left. Kind of set the stage for us here as we close out this 126 pound bout. This is a fresh start. Hernandez needs to explode off the bottom. And there he goes, he rolls again. He's got that leg. He's got that leg. He's looking for a Peterson roll. He's in good shape here. He may get the reversal out of it. Cervantes is wrestling hard. He's still got control. He's got in a double leg position. Hernandez has got to get his hips free. He's got to get that one. There it is. It's tied up. What a crucial late move with just 10 seconds left now. We appear to be likely headed to an extra round. Nice shot from Cervantes on the edge of the mat. And we're going to overtime. Our first bout of the evening here at the state championships and we couldn't finish it in six. Well, extra time wrestling, bonus points, more excitement, more drama. You can't ask for anything better than this. We're the first match of the night and we're going to sudden victory. Absolutely, I actually did the San Diego section soccer championships last <laughs> night for Time Warner Cable. Both of those matches went to overtime, so. <laughs> We're, we're continuing you. a trend. You, it, you did it. You I don't did think it. we're going to 14 <laughs> overtimes. Let's let's put it that way, obviously. Uh, again, the order is different. 132 coming up next. Take us through as there's a brief injury timeout, uh, kind of what we saw in, in that third uh, third round. Well, it's it, Hernandez needed to get out. I mean, that's just, it's a bottom line. I mean, and they're, they're so close. He kept hustling. He kept working for it, and now we got it out, and now we're going back to the middle of the mat, and here comes sudden victory. Now, the way overtime works, Danny, is the first period is one minute, and then the next two periods are 30 seconds of down wrestling. Now, if one of these wrestlers scores a point in this one first minute, it's over. So let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get a little more action than we got early in the match. A shot from Hernandez in deep, in deep, and he's got it. Two points. Hernandez is your state champion. And that is that, a two-point takedown and a sudden victory, 17 seconds in. Hernandez coming from behind to earn the late point in the third round and then going on and claiming the state championship. Well, Cervantes opened up and it looked like Hernandez got a really nice second shot, reshot, got in deep on it and got the takedown. Good job from Hernandez.